This week's videos are sponsored by Rocket Money, a personal finance app that I've been using for about a year and a half now before we ever partnered up with them. After the reaction, I'll tell you why I love them so much and what they are. On to the video, Reject Nation. Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? I don't know what that means, but I've heard a million people say it. Oh, good. Excellent. This will be the opportunity for us to take all the random cultural osmosis that we've absorbed and then put some context to them. Exactly, because it's Ron Jocks, hey. baby. We're back. We're watching Twilight. Getting drippy moist. We're getting drippy moist and we're sparkling. I think they sparkle. I don't know. I've heard so many Twilight references over the years and I have no <laughs> idea what they mean. How did you and I not see this franchise? I, well, I mean, I would have been at that age in my life where I would have had my nose thoroughly turned up at teen romances. So that's my excuse. What's my excuse? <laughs> yeah, what is your excuse? I have no excuse. This is your thing. It's a bunch of hot vampires that are all sparkling and doing weird vampire stuff. I don't know because I haven't seen it, but I'm so excited. It's the most excited I've ever heard for a reaction ever, 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 ever. I'm not ever, even kidding ever. you. <laughs> I'm not either. I'm so excited to give these an actual chance, chance as movies. As movies. So please, if you are watching this, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know that you want us to cover Twilight 2, 3, four, 4, and 4 part 2. Is that what it is? <laughs> Do that thing. They split them in half, like Harry Potter style. Are these based off books? These are, ba these are, yeah. <laughs> this is based off of history. <laughs> I knew nothing. I know nothing. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. And thank you so much to Prepper for helping us edit this. If you want to be a sparkling, super sexy reject, reject, make sure you become a patron yeah. uh, over on the Patreon. That's where you can stick up with your own copy. And also, that's where exclusively... This guy right here oh. and Greg, oh. they cover all different stuff. So they have fun over with the patrons on Definitely. the Patreon and that's the sex people. They are. They are. That's the team you really want to be on. Team Edward, Team Jacob. You want you want Team Sexy Rejects. We're going to know. We're what gonna do you know. think you are? Team Edward or Team Jacob? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I got to meet them. You know, I got to let them woo me. Judging by the fact that Robert Pattinson has the bigger career now, probably Team Edward. But I don't know. What's the other guy's name? <laughs> Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got there. You ready for this? I'm not ready, and I'm so ready. Me neither. Let's go. I'd never given much thought to how I would die. Okay. I mean, that's, that's healthy. dark intro. But dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Damn. It's the beginning of Jackie Chan's The Tuxedo. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm everywhere, man. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Damn! Damn! That absolutely seems like a real deer. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that this is a real deer. Yeah. Otherwise, it's the best, best CG model I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow! These oh. shots! Whoa! But what was that part? So I can't bring myself to regret the decision to leave home. Whoa! I would miss Phoenix. Would you? I'd miss the heat. Maybe. I would miss my loving, erratic, harebrained mother. Harebrained? Right. And her new husband. Is that an expression? Let's... Guys, come on. I love you both. We got a plane to catch. <laughs> Janet Tatum over here. <laughs> so I'm going to spend some time with my dad. This will be a good thing, I think. Okay. Wait, you know I'm blind as a bat. That wasn't actually Channing Tatum, was it? No, God. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> I don't, maybe he'll become a big character. Music coming in we'll immediately. Yeah. Southwest. That's what I fly, baby. Get that extra air, uh, leg room. Really? I never check in in time. I don't know. And a summit over the Summit Entertainment logo. Very meta. Nice title card. Oh, I do card. see Twilight with the snow all the time right now. There's a small town named Forks. Population, 3,120 people. I knew that. Everybody talks about Forks. Is it real? Comment below. Do you live in Forks? Yeah, people go to... Do they really? You take a Twilight tour? My dad's Charlie. He's the chief of police. Oh, I should have known from his mustache, actually. Here's longer. <laughs> Cut it since last time I saw you. Ooh. So it's not longer, Dad. I guess it grew out again. Or it is, and she just wants him to feel bad. It's okay. It's here to show their distance. I used to spend two weeks there almost every summer, but it's been years. She looks so young here. I know. It's wild. Is this like the first thing she was in at all? It's the first time I've ever heard of her. Get some shelves off in the bathroom. Oh, right. One bathroom. It's a cool painting. A wolf painting. It's a pretty big house for one bathroom. The sales lady picked up the... You like, you like purple, right? Purple's cool. <laughs> purple is cool. Oh, boy. You gotta get, like, a 
study guide for you, Dad. Okay. <laughs> people forget to talk to people like a human. One of the best things about Charlie. Yeah. He doesn't have her. <laughs> she calls her dad Charlie. Heard you guys oh. oh. That's oh. Lautner. Damn. What? Lautner. Bella, you remember Billy Black? Yeah. Oh, he's in everything. Oh, and him, yeah. yeah. He's a character actor. Well, I'm glad you're finally here. Charlie here hasn't shut up about it since you told him you were coming. <laughs> Keep exaggerating. I'll roll you. Oh, it's, he's got wolf teeth. Ooh, or vampire locks. teeth. Hi, I'm, I'm Jacob. We used to make mud pies when we were little. Right. <laughs> I'm on his team. I'm on his team. Am I always like this? It's getting worse with old age. They do look cute. He smiles a lot. Your homecoming present. Just bought it off Billy here. For how much? I totally rebuilt the engine for you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is perfect. Are you joking? Oh, 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 yeah. Why didn't she say sorry? <laughs> you know. So you gotta double pump the clutch when you shift, but besides that, you should be good. That's this one? I've never driven a manual before. Do you want to ride to school or something? Oh, I go to school on reservation. Oh, damn. Res dogs. That's too bad. It would have been nice to know one person. Changing schools when you are a teenager, but she must be 17, 16 if she can drive. Yeah. Tough. First day at a new school. It's March, middle of the semester. Great. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to do fine. Yeah. Nice ride. Thanks. <laughs> These Washington kids are real snobby like. It doesn't feel Washington-esque. I've never been. Isabel Swan, the new girl. Hi, I'm Eric, the eyes and ears of this place. Okay. Anything you need? Tour guide, lunch date, shoulder cry on. He's also the gossip girl. I'm really kind of the more sufferer in silence type. <laughs> Good headline for the future. I'm on the paper in your news, baby, front page. Please don't have Whoa. any sort of chillax. Oh, no. No feature. Chillax. Do they really do a front page spread for every new kid? I don't know. That would be kind of That'd be smart, intense. but savage. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I told them not to let me play. Who is that? You're, uh, it's Bella. Just Bella. Uh, I'm Mike. Newton. Newton. Hey. I'm from there. <laughs> hey, whoa. Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Hey, you're from Arizona, right? What? Aren't people from Arizona supposed to be like really tan? <laughs> Maybe that's why they kicked me out. I would love it if that's really what happened. You're good. Just the HOA was like, you're not that's the so right funny. shade. Sorry. Oh, is Anna Kendrick a mean girl? Hey, She's Mikey, trying to flirt with this guy. Like Just trying to make her look bad. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Get Subtle there. negging. I get you. I get you. It's like first grade all over again. You're the shiny new toy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I do believe she is jealous now. But the future. The future's dead, Angela. Don't bring it up again. Whoa. Guess we'll just run another editorial on teen drinking. You know, you can always go for eating disorders. Teen drinking is what? very bad. Speedo padding on the swim uh. team. Actually, that's a good one. <laughs> Did this be the swim team be speedo padding? There's no way he's so skinny. Doesn't make sense. Totally. Oh my god. <laughs> have you seen yes, Revenge of the being Nerds? Skinny means you can't have a big schlong. Sometimes you guys get it. it means the exact opposite, according to most '80s comedies. Doctor and Mrs. Collins' foster kids. They moved down here from Alaska like a few years ago. She's warming up to her. Kind of keep to themselves. Yeah, because they're all together, together, together. Whoa. What? They got matching uniforms. I recognize everybody. That's Rosalie, the big dark-haired guy, Emmett. They're like a thing. Wait, she's... Oh, he's the special. The little dark-haired girl's Alice. She's really weird. Okay. She's with the Jasper, the blonde one who looks like he's in pain. Whoa. So they're together? They're so pale. Who's he? <sighs> oh. That's Edward Cohen. <laughs> Totally gorgeous, <laughs> obviously. That's Batman. And nobody here is good enough for him. Oh, uh, he heard you. His ears, uh. sonic hearing. Whoa. Got the stare going already. Yeah, but he looked like pissed. This one. Uh, <laughs> okay, fan. <laughs> <The> fan. <laughs> Whoa. Why does he feel sick? Why did he... Uh. What was that reaction? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, sunlight must not be a thing for them. It does look like he's smelling something awful. No! Smells herself. No, you're fine. Is he gonna puke? What are these faces? Yeah, what is happening? What? Yeah, what was? What are we supposed to be taking from this? What? He's staring so intensely. I would be so uncomfortable if for an entire, okay, if for an entire class, some guy was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I would say something to him for sure. <laughs> like, what was that? 
That was such a strange moment. I'm afraid you'll have to stay in biology. Strange. Uh oh. I just have to endure it. Were there like frogs they were dissecting and he could smell them? And There's some about her. Maybe it's like the witches and children smell of dogs' droppings. Hey, Bella. <laughs> yeah. You remember me? Do I want to? Played Santa one year. Oh, golly. Waylon, she hasn't had a Christmas here since she was four. <laughs> I bet I made an impression, though, didn't I? Thanks for bursting that bubble, bud. As soon as you're done, I will bring you your favorite. Fairy toddler, remember? Your dad still has it. You make quite an impression as a child on these people. As a four-year-old or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't just put any ketchup on. Did you, did you see ketchup coming out? I couldn't tell if she put any more. There was like a dollop, but it looked like it was there already. See, I don't know. Mom, where's your cell? Okay, don't laugh. I didn't lose my power cord. Oh. It ran away. She's from 24. Oh. But tell me more about your school. Now, what are the kids like? Okay, hell yeah, mechanic mom. Are they being nice to you? Well, they're all very welcoming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't even matter. Yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh, the lip bite. Kristen Stewart lip bite. Why did I think she had a big gap in her teeth? I don't know. I thought that was part of, like, the Twilight look. I plan to confront him and demand to know what his problem was. <laughs> All right. I like this has, like, a little bit of a noir narration going. Him just standing out of the truck. Yeah, because he's cool. But he never cool showed. People. He never showed. He didn't care about physics or safety or anything. Imagine driving a Mercedes-Benz convertible that was red in high school. I knew people who could imagine that, but I, I cannot imagine that. <laughs> I had a two-door Honda Civic with a spoiler. It was silver. Ooh. Baby. I did was not my drive in high school. <laughs> Another no-show. Another uh, no-show. days passed. Things were getting a little got sick. strange. Oh, so he, oh. he must have been wanting to eat her blood, suck her blood, because he was just turning. Could be. Could be. I don't know the vampire rules in this, but that's maybe... He's got to be the main vamp, right? What are we seeing? I don't know. Whoa. 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 Oh, damn. Cool shot. Yeah. The, the, the brief like action bits we've seen have been pretty punchy. Yeah, this movie feels like it knows it was going to be massive. It's yeah. very confident in itself. It's raining on that one step, so, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. Ouch. Yeah, I'm good. Ice doesn't really help the uncoordinated. Sure. That's why I had some new tires put on the truck. Every one of her lines is high school poetry. I gotta head down to Mason County. Security guard at the Grisham Mill got killed by some kind of animal. Uh-oh. Werewolf. Not yet. You're not in Phoenix anymore, Bills. People die around here. Be careful. Always am. And thanks for the tires. Dude, I just got a new set of tires. That is not a cheap gift. I was wondering, did you have a, a, a date to... What's up, Arizona? Are huh? uh, uh, you liking the rain, girl? What? Oh, calm down, bud. I've been that guy. Awesome. He's back. Oh. Okay, what you playing? Yeah, he got Ask fresh. Ask him what's up. Is he going to puke when she walks over? He's wearing a diaper today. Hello. Ooh. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself last week. I'm Edward Cullen. Oh. You're Bella? Yes. Edward so he's Cullen. been drinking blood. Edward Cullen. Maybe he killed the person last night. That's why he's feeling better. Could be. Blood. That's not a bad call. Ladies first. <laughs> it's kind of old-fashioned of you, isn't it, Edward? You were gone. Um, I was out of town for a couple of days. Personal reasons. <laughs> Pro face. Do you mind if I... Uh, it's crazy when you build somebody up in your head that they're like a jerk and then they're not. Yeah, I bet that happens more than you think, especially in high school. So you're enjoying the rain? I don't really like the rain. Oh, poor you. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... It's coarse and it gets everywhere. It's uh, anaphase. You oh. mind if I check? Sure. He knows his biology. Yeah, because he's probably 5,000 years old. That's why he wanted to train. He just wanted a more challenging class to be in. If you hate the cold and the rain so much, why do you move to the wettest place in the continental U.S.? Because <laughs> she's a kid? It's complicated. Parent stuff. I'm sure I can keep up. Oh, they're both actually very good and engaging. Yeah, I like their awkward tension yeah. back and forth. My mom remarried and, um... So, you don't like the guy? Or... No, I mean, that's not... Phil's really nice. Phil. Not Channing Tatum is Phil. <laughs> It'd be interesting to watch this from a point in time where these are both respected actors now <laughs> versus back when, That's what when we're this doing. was like their entire, you know, yeah. body of work to most but people. But really, I think they're doing a great job. Phil's a minor league baseball player. 
Okay. He travels a lot. The guy that we saw? Yeah. I see it. <laughs> that one beat, I see it. I figured I'd stay with my dad for a while. And now you're unhappy? No. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure you out. You're very difficult for me to read. Hey, did you get contacts? Uh, no. No. Your eyes were black the last time I saw you and now pink, golden, brown. Yeah, I know. It's the, uh... Weather. It's the fluorescence. Um... It's the fact that I'm a vampire. No! Whoa! God damn! What is happening? Ah! Ah! Oh no. Not a bad stunt. Uh oh. That's what Superman should have done to save his dad in Man of Steel. I just don't even want to talk about it anymore. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Comments are firing off right now. What? You just could peace out after that? I'm so sorry. I'll panic. What? What happened? What? I'm still just like, what did you panic? What did you do? Yeah, what you did just you? just like gunned it around the corner into the lot. You all right? I'm fine, Dad. Calm down. I'm sorry, Bella. I tried to stop. It's like all's well that ends well, but oh my God. But just what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Chief's daughter was here. Oh, Dr. Cullen. Whoa. Dr. Cullen? Albert Wesker. Did he Resident say Dr. Evil. Cullen? He did. So he's related to Edward? Look here. You might experience some post-traumatic stress or... <laughs> you know, it would have been a whole lot worse if Edward wasn't there. I mean, he got to me so fast, he was nowhere near me. Uh-oh. Sounds like you were very lucky. Oh, no. Don't out him. Oh, uh, yeah, he gonna get in trouble tonight. I should probably call your mom. You tell her. Probably just freaking out. I mean, fair enough. What was I supposed to do? I'm not let her die. Ooh. It's about all of us. I think we should take this in my office. Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> Jesus. Can I talk to you for a minute? That blonde girl, who is that? She's very famous. Yeah. What? How did you get over to me so fast? <laughs> I was standing right next to you, Bella. You were next to your car. I was watching you. I moved. I was standing right under Weird the gas ADR lights. moment. You stopped the van. You pushed it away with your hand. Well, nobody's going to believe you. Oh. Weird. Weird. You're not going to let this go, are you? No. It's one that I hope you enjoy disappointment. She's so into him. I know. I mean, she was into him, and then he saved her life. And this, like, back and forth tension they keep having. What is she like, doing friction. right now? What? Oh. Whoa. Nice. Nice with the zooms. He's not really there? Yeah. But he but was, was he? but he's not, but he was. Because she was kind of thrusting up like she was having a hot dream. <laughs> that was the first night I dreamt of Edward Cullen. Oh, boy. Look at you, huh? You're alive. <laughs> You're alive. He's such like a regular high schooler. Yeah. No, I wanted to ask you, you know, if, you know, it's, it's like a month away, but, uh, <laughs> I go to, go to prom, prom. <laughs> that look, he's throwing so much shade over there. So what, what do you think? About what? Oh, oh. The prom? With me? Oh. Oh, I. Prom. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I'm, I'm going to Jacksonville that weekend. Uh, you, you can't go another weekend? Non refundable ticket. You should ask Jessica. Oh. I know she wants to go with you. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> But he doesn't want to go with her. Green is what? Good, let's go. I know that guy too. Yeah, he's a character. It's like actor. every person in this is somebody. What's in Jacksonville? An excuse not to go to prom. How did you know about that? I, you didn't answer my question. Oh, you don't answer any of mine, so I mean, you don't even say hi to me. Hi. <laughs> Are you going to tell me how you stopped the van? I had an adrenaline rush. It's very common. You can Google it. Mothers do it to say their babies all the He's time. He's like, I did Google it. That's how I know that answer. Yeah. I guess he just asked me to prom. Oh. I actually totally thought that Mike was going to ask you. Aww. Uh -huh. It's not going to be weird though, right? Zero weirdness. You guys are great together. I know, right? Aww. Uh -huh. I like Bella that she didn't tell her that he did ask her. Yeah. In high school, I don't know that I would have that restraint. Bella, we, we shouldn't be friends. You just ran after her to tell her that? <laughs> you really should have figured that out a little earlier. You should have let me die. You should just let the van crush me and save yourself all this regret. There you go. Do you think I regret saving you? I can see that you do. I just, I don't know why. You don't know anything. His voice. Yeah. So different. Are you going to be riding with us? No, our bus is full. <laughs> We're the first people on the bus, Edward. I wonder, are they all vampires? There's got to be something up with all of them. Maybe some of them are familiar. Your mom called again. Thank you, Nestle Pure Life. She seems different. She seems happy. Aww. Phil sounds like an all right guy. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> you Don't follow this thread, man. You're not going to like it. Yep. <laughs> Drink your beer you breakfast. Think these vampires have familiars? Maybe. I'm curious to see what the actual lore is going to be. Yeah. 
because clearly sunlight. Maybe that's why they're with cloudy. the shit. Yeah. I mean, like, this is a smart place to be. Maybe it was sunny for days. Is that why he didn't come in? The push, baby. You in? The push beach on the Quilly Ute Res. We're all going tomorrow. The push, baby. La push. La push. Out of art. Oh, whoa. Uh. <laughs> Aladdin, okay. It's like Spider Man in here. You know, your mood swings are kind of giving me a whiplash. Fair, queen. Yeah. I only said it'd be better if we weren't friends, not that I didn't want to be. What does that mean? We could be lovers. It means if you were smart, you'd stay away from me. Okay, well, let's say for argument's sake that I'm not smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you tell me the truth? No, probably not. Oof, oof, I'm so into this, it hurts. <laughs> I have considered radioactive spiders and kryptonite. Yes. It's all superhero stuff, right? now. Um, I want to find the bad guy. I want to know how much he knows about that stuff. I can see what you're trying to put off, but I can see that it's just to keep people away from you. It's a mask. Aw, you're like every other high school tough guy. Why don't we just hang out? Everybody's going to the beach. Come. That's Aww. not a good place for a vampire. I want to see vampire at the beach. Which beach? The push. I don't know. Is there something wrong with that beach? It's a nude beach. It's just a little crowded. That is beautiful. I'm totally taken for granted that there would be like coasts and beaches up here. So I keep thinking that Eric's going to ask me to the prom and then he just doesn't. I like how this little friend group developed. Me too. I thought Anna Kendrick was going to be mean. She wasn't. You should ask him. Take control. You're a strong, independent hey. woman. I am. Yep. Sing it, queen. Yeah, man. Throw down that invite. Bella. Jacob. Guys, this is Jacob. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey. You like stalking me? <laughs> You're on my res, remember? Oh. Are we on reservation right now? Must be. You guys should keep Bella company. Her date failed. What date? She invited Edward. Yeah, because Cohen's a freak. She got that right. And he that's can hear you. why they don't have Yeah, he's out there in a tree listening. Right now. The Cullens don't come here. Oh, we got we got beef? No, he means they don't just never come here. Maybe he knows about the sun. What did your friends mean about... I don't know. Cullens don't come here. Well, we're going to find out. You caught that, huh? This movie. You caught that, huh? <laughs> yeah, we all caught that. <laughs> we all, there was a whole close-up on that, man. <laughs> This must be wolf territory, and that's vamp territory. Did you know Kuliuts are supposedly descended from wolves? Oh, oh! That's a legend of our tribe. Cool. So what's the story about the Collins? Well, they're supposedly descended from this, like, enemy clan. Bats! My great-grandfather, the or chief, humans, found them I hunting guess. on our land. They're old as crap, wow. But they claim to be something different, so we made a treaty with them. If they promised to stay off Kuliu lands, then we wouldn't expose what they really were to the pale faces. <laughs> The Quileute, a real tribe? I thought they just moved here. Or just moved back. Yeah. Got it. Everyone's coming back to Washington. What are they really? <laughs> it's just a story, though. I do buy, like, the outsidery sort of, like, confusion that she's constantly sort of having to live in here. Me too. I'm just curious why Jacob just told her that story. That would make me think he's not a wolf. Um, this feels maybe that's good. very Vampire Diaries to me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Like, that's where I'm pulling everything from, which I loved. But that must have come after this. Oh no. Girl, girl. This isn't the Santa Claus guy, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. You just can't tell because the hat. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Oh! Wow. Oh, I dressed up as this girl for a party once. Because <laughs> I own the coat. I don't know what she is. Someone like assigned you the character. Yeah. Nice jacket. My Whoa. best friend for her. Whoa. Party, what is that? Who are you? It's always the same thing. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Why are you doing that, James? What? Oh. What's happening? Damn. Let's not play with our food. Wait, that guy from 90210. Really? Let's not play with our food. What is that? They're calling Interview him with their a vampire looking guy over there. Which is another movie I haven't seen. I didn't see it either. I did watch the first episode of the TV show. Oh, yes. Let's get an internet search montage. Thunderbird and Whale. Is that a real bookstore? I would love like independent business product placement in movies. That would be amazing. Yeah. Give them a big discount. You know, the company really needs it. <laughs> I'm really impressed with her. Because I feel like we heard so much crap talked about her after this movie. And I think she's really good. He's not here. Whenever the weather's nice, the Collins disappear. Uh, well, there anyway, you go. Yeah. I'm going to the prom with Eric. I just asked him. I took control. Hey. I asked him, I said yes for him. I took control. Okay, we should go shopping in Port Angeles before all the good dresses get cleaned out. <laughs> I can't believe Anna Kendrick's in this movie. Why does nobody talk about that? I don't know. You mind if I come? Yeah, I need your opinion. Oh, they're cute. 
Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I like the beading. And you wouldn't need jewelry. Just what do you think, lavender? And this stuff, like things like this, when it just feels like you're a fly on the wall for mm -hmm. kids being kids. Right. <laughs> Why would there be a window where, where they're changing? Oh, that's disgusting. No, nah, this is good. Getting the trial run. See how the dress plays in public. Oh, looks great. He said that about like the last five dresses. Though. Bella is such a girl's girl. I love her. You're not really into this, are you? I actually really just want to go to this bookstore. But you're riding for the chicas. You mean chicas at the restaurant? Yeah. She... Oh, now she's about to ditch when I call her a girl's girl. She's going to go see she's a guy. She's trying. She's trying. For somebody completely preoccupied. There you go. Have a good night. That does look like a cool bookstore. Got dark quick. He's watching her. Creepy. Sure looks like a real store. Please don't jump out. Ugh. Spooky alleyway. It's like Jack the Ripper right now. Oh, no. But he's watching her, so I think he's going to protect her, but that's weird. Hey, where you running to? Oh, gee. Whoa. Oh, my God. What's the problem? She doesn't like that, man. You're pretty. Don't touch me. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Don't touch me. Ow. Robert Pattinson. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, that was a kind of a jarring scene, actually. It's the way they shot that, like, so close POV. Get in the car. Oh. Come with me if you want to live. That was very dangerous. <laughs> Oh boy, you have no idea. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! But why is he doing God it like that? <laughs> damn! Oh! Maybe don't drive like a maniac. We should go back there and rip those guys' heads off. E e you don't know the vile, repulsive things they're thinking. Oh. Oh. Can you do? Uh, it's not hard to guess. Uh, yeah. Can you talk about something else? Distract me so I won't turn around. <laughs> you should put your seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> you put your seatbelt on. <laughs> that was a good response. It's <laughs> the way he played that. Edward wasn't pulled out for camping. He was pulled out to go do like a stunt race on some Hollywood set. <laughs> we waited, but we were like starving. Uh, I'm sorry I kept Bella from dinner. We just sort of ran into each other and got talked. Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Um, okay, Queens. Loving this now. I think I should make sure Bella gets something to eat. Sure. If you'd like. I'll drive you home myself. What did you have in mind? That's so thoughtful. It's really thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the dialogue in this is amazing right now, though. That was so great. See ya. Okay. I love it. Oh, that was a great scene. That was a great scene. Yeah. That was so high school. What a great moment. High school stuff in general gets a bad rap, and I think that probably played a part in this. There are times when it's taking itself a little too seriously, but I do like the I don't high see school that at dynamic. All. I don't see that at all. Well, even when, it, even when it comes across that way to me, it still feels in the vein of what a high school person feeling these emotions would express. You're really not going to eat? No, I'm on a special diet. You got to give me some answers. Biggest contrarian. How did you know where I was? Follow me. I feel very protective of you. Okay, that's bad, though, because that's some stalker creepy stuff. Nah, man. You say you heard what they were thinking? Choose your words wisely, ma'am. And you read minds. <laughs> oh, I can read little punch every mind in this room apart from yours. Yeah, why not hers? Oh. Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Cat. Aww, Jonathan Davis from Corn loves his cat. And then you, nothing. It's very frustrating. You are simple. Is there something wrong with me? See, I tell you I can read minds, and you think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore. Then don't. Oof. 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 And that focus. Um, it's not good to love them because he's literally stalking her, but holy crap. Make out, please. But I feel like therein lies the true charm of these <laughs> stories. It's a little dangerous, but you can't deny it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm warm enough now. Oh, oh, oh. Your hand is so cold. Barely even touched it. At what point would you think he was a vampire? <laughs> well. What is going on? At the point he confesses to telepathy, I guess I have to start wondering. <laughs> My dad's still here. Can you pull in? Yeah, but you, maybe you would think he's a... It's my father's car in the end. Mind reader. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't have jumped to vampire yet. Wayland Ford was found a boat out near his place. Christmas is canceled. He died? How? Animal attack. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that reaction. 
He gave him a look. Patton's is having a whole other conversation with his face yeah. right there. No, I'm going on 30 years. Yeesh. I like this guy too. Me too. It feels really earnest. And We're going to find this thing. Meantime, I want you to carry this with you. Ooh. It'll you... give your old man some peace of mind. Is it bear spray? Yeah. Is it pepper, pepper spray, spray or some kind? Yeah. And I want you to sign up for self defense courses at the Y. My pepper spray is pink and sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> Even the stream when it comes out. Mm, I feel like I haven't should, had to uh, spray this one, so I feel like they should include the glitter and the color in the spray itself, so that and when you get sprayed, spray, <laughs> so yeah, you're not only in it's a great insufferable call, pain, yeah. but also you're covered in glitter. <laughs> what? Well, zoom again? Can't hide. You can see the contact on that close up. She's too. figuring out. She knows what he is. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And she thinks he might have done, done it. it. Yeah. Uh oh. Love the shadows. He said, I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore. Oh. And it hit something inside of me. <laughs> hey, man, we should all be so lucky. Cold one. What you going to type into Google, baby? The cold one. Apatempkin. Chud Apatempkin. Ooh. Okay, Egypt. The immortal drink. That sure looked like blood. Woof. Wow. Look his leg. Huh. Undead speed. That word speed looked like the same font as Twilight for a second. Strength. Cold skinned. Let's put the pieces together. Immortal. Let's just zoom in on the word garlic. Aw, oh, damn it. Drank blood. Whoa. Ah, uh, fun. Fun, fun. Nice little fantasy. Is he there? She said, for argument's sake, let's just say I'm not smart, but you are smart, baby girl. Yeah. Too smart for your own good. I wonder if you can read her thoughts now. Oh, cold soda. Damn. But why? Because she thinks he did it? Yeah. Then you need to talk to him. Oh, no. She's hoping he follows her? Yeah, there we go. And neither of them is going to be written up for truancy. For what? <laughs> for skipping class. <laughs> You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Uh. And sometimes you speak like like you're from a different time. From the mid 2000s. You never eat or drink anything. You don't go out in the sunlight. Ooh. How old are you? 17. Uh. How long have you been 17? <laughs> That's a great response. A while. Oh. That was them trying to show to us that this isn't creepy, but it is because he's old. I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. Look at that. Oh. Out loud. Oh. Out loud. Oh. Out loud. Out loud. Everybody out loud. always says that. Say it out loud. That's what that's from. Whoa. Say it out loud. He's drifting angles, too. Out loud. Vampire. Oh, don't use the Z word. Are you afraid? If she was afraid, she wouldn't have taken you into the woods. <laughs> yeah. No. Hey. Then ask me the most basic question. What do we eat? You won't hurt me. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Where are we going? Up the mountain. Up the mountain. You need to see what I look like in the sunlight. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, we are doing this. Oh, it looks whoa. like an escalator. He oh, is, he's like flying, but he's just sp fast. He's on a Don't wire. Don't hit a tree. I assume they have on, on like a zip line. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this is where the, the sparkle thing must come through. This is why we don't show ourselves in sunlight. People would know we're different. Uh, 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 people would know I ADR'd that line. Yeah, couldn't care less. Stick with it, John. Oh. This is what I am. Sparkly babe. Wow. The diamond skin boy. It's like diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds are forever. Fascinating. You're beautiful. You're too beautiful. Beautiful. This is the skin of a killer, Bill. <laughs> That's another famous line I've heard. <laughs> Forgive. <laughs> this is the skin of a killer, Bella. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. I'm a killer. I don't believe that. It's because you believe a lie. Camouflage. I'm the world's most dangerous predator. That doesn't seem like very effective cat camouflage. Everything about me invites you in. My face, even my smell. As if I wouldn't need any of that. Oh. <laughs> You're thirsty for me anyway. As if you could outrun me! Ooh. Uh. As if you could Ooh. fight me off. He is acting like a 17-year-old boy right now. Yes. I'm designed to kill. I don't care. Oh, well, maybe you should. 
I've killed people before. No. It does not matter. Oh, well. I wanted to kill you. I've never wanted human's blood so much in my life. I trust you. Damn. My family, we're different from others of our kind. We only hunt animals. We learn to control our thirst. But it's you. You're sent. Whoa. It's like a drug to me. Your love is like a drug. I like my own personal brand of heroin. These are the greatest Ooh. lines I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> my personal brand of heroin. It's and she's said that the to heroine me. of the story. Why did you hate me so much when we met? I did. Only for making me want you so badly. I still don't know if I can control myself. I know you can. God, man. Go up into the trees, Bella. I am the captain now. Go get him. You're a strong, independent woman. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Go get your man. Take your own advice. I can't read your mind. Why? You have to tell me what you're thinking. I feel like she has. You have to tell the audience what you're thinking. I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of love. Afraid of what they'll do to you. I don't know how long I've waited for you. You passed every test. So the lion fell in love with the lamb. Another amazing line. Bars. Boudoir bars. What a stupid lamb. I'm sick, masochistic lion. <laughs> 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 Stupid lamb and the You're not going to show them kissing? Lion. Nah, that, that would be too adult. What? <laughs> he's like 400 years old and she's, you know, 17 or whatever. Yeah, but he's 17. We he's, just have to go with that. He is 17. It's fine. She does look like a vampire. I wonder if one of her parents was or something like, because he can't read her mind. She's so pale. Oh, maybe she's like a mute. Me yeah, something. something. Yeah. But she ain't sparkling, though. No, she's clearly not a vampire, but there's something up. Like, she has partial something. I just want to know what course of nature decided that this camouflage was going to be effective anywhere but, like, in the snow. No, it's the opposite of camouflage. But it's to make him appear not ferocious and horrible. I know, I think it makes him stand out so you know. About three things I was absolutely positive. First, what is it? First, Edward was a vampire. Yup, but second, baby. In case you just started watching the movie. A second. Mm -hmm. Hit me. There was a part of him that thirsted for my blood. That's hot. We all know. Yeah, I guess some Billy Bob Thornton Angelina stuff. Angelina Jolie, Billy Bob Thornton action. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. Yeah, I get it. Or I guess it would be MGK and Megan Fox now. <laughs> Dude, the way she just looked at him, I mean, I get it. He was waiting outside. Yeah, his age is super problematic. I have to just stop thinking about it or I won't be able to be in. So just going to let that go by the wayside. That's what you want. You want a 17-year-old who's your age but who has infinite amounts of experience and knowledge. Yeah. yeah. He's the perfect high school boyfriend. Does a person have to be dying to become like you? That's just Carlisle. You'd never do this to someone who had another choice. Damn. So how long have you been like this? And how bad does it have to be to make the choice? Since 1918, that's when Carlisle found me, dying of Spanish influenza. So Carlisle's actually a decent guy? Yeah. What was it like? The venom was excruciating, but what Carlisle did was much harder. Not many of us have the restraint to do that. Not to drain. When we taste human blood, a sort of frenzy begins. And it's almost impossible to stop. Why is he soaked and she's dry? It's a metaphor. So is Carlisle the real reason that you don't kill people? That grain. No, it's not the only reason. You, Bella. Who bestanks the reason is the reason. I don't want to be a monster. My family, we think of ourselves as vegetarians. So we only survive on the blood of animals. <laughs> yes, that makes you a vegetarian. <laughs> It's like a human only living on tofu. It keeps you strong, but you're never fully satisfied. Maybe you're seeing the wrong tofu. I wouldn't be like <laughs> drinking your blood, for instance. Your blood would be like a, a fully loaded cheese. I feel like what we're going to get to is he's going to try. Was it other vampires that killed Waylon? And he's not going to be able to stop himself, but he does. There are others out there, and we run into them from time to time. And have wacky misadventures. Can the rest of your family read people's minds like you can? Um, no, that's just me. Really? But Alice and Alice can see the future. Oh. oh. Alice's visions are subjective. I mean, the future can always change. Interesting. Okay. Visions of what might be should the current course not be altered. Back is Wow. Nice transition. I'm going to take you to my place tomorrow. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Wait, like with your family? Yeah. I mean, what if they don't like me? So you're worried, not because you'll be in a house full of vampires, but because you think they want to prove you. <laughs> I'm glad I amuse you. Am I a clown to you? Were they dating in real life at this point? I don't know. I mean, probably starting at least, or getting the warm and fuzzies going. I mean, their chemistry is off the charts. Oh. Oh. We got uh, bad blood? Yeah, that's some wolf vampire stuff, I'm telling you. They signed a treaty. 
Come to visit your truck. <laughs> Actually, we came to visit your flat screen. First Mariners game of the season. Hey. Plus, Jacob here keeps bugging me about seeing you again. Oh. Right, Dad. Right, Dad. <laughs> keeping it real, son. <laughs> keeping it real goes wrong. Vitamin R. Well done, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> what is that beer called? Reserve? Oh, maybe. I don't think it was an animal that killed him. I resort it was. To spread the word out of the res, huh? Keep the kids out of the woods. We'll do. Don't want no one else getting hurt, do we? Reindeer. Like that new Netflix show, Rain the Little Reindeer? On the beer, it said reindeer. Oh, reindeer ale or lager or whatever else kind of beer it could be. That's what it looked like to me. It's also cool that they have like a prominent character who who's in a wheelchair. Not that that actor actually is. Yeah. I don't know. Although kinda... I, I do think that handicapable actors would. This is a twofold because it's like it's also cool to have yeah, like some actual yeah, Native course. American actors going. Exactly. Through and <laughs> he is so good. I see him in everything now. This is incredible. No, this is incredible. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's so light and open, you know? So that they can all just sparkle all the time. It's just like living in a house full of disco balls. I mean, is everybody in his family going to be so pissed he brought her? I don't know. She's the police officer's daughter. Like. It's the one place we don't have to hide. Our taste in art. You have this. You had a little bit of olive oil. To oh, my. Oh, they're happy she's coming? Oh, they're making her actual food. That's a real gesture. Is she even Italian? Her name is Bella. I'm sure she'll love it no matter what. She, they, none of them eat. Bella, we're making Italiano for you. Oh. She's on Hill House, right? Maybe a uh, haunting of? Yeah. Giving us an excuse to use the kitchen for the first time. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She already ate. Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> It's just because I know you. I know that you guys don't eat, so of course it's very considerate of you. <laughs> Let's just keep pretending like this isn't dangerous for all of us. I would never tell anybody anything. Yeah, well, the problem is you two have gone public now. <laughs> People are trading your stock now, so. The entire family will be implicated if this ends badly. Badly, as in. I, I would become the male. <laughs> <laughs> Edgy. Hi, Bella. Oh. I'm Alice. Okay. She's familiar, too. Alice, what are you... It's okay. Bella and I are going to be great friends. <laughs> no, she's evil. Sorry. For Just sure. Just our newest vegetarian is a little difficult for her. Oh, boy. Pleasure to meet you. It's okay, Jess. You won't hurt her. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of the rest of the house. I'll see you soon. God, the I look bet on his Alice face. has been killing the people. I don't know. She gives me killer vibes. They're trying to make her innocent. Clean this up. Wait, that guy. He's in everything, too. Wait, oh, my God. Who are all these actors? Film that launched a thousand careers. Graduation caps? It's a private joke. We matriculate a lot. <laughs> Wow. It's kind of miserable. I mean, repeating high school over and over. Sure, but the younger we start out in a new place, the longer we can stay there. Yeah, what's your range? At least till your mid 20s, right? Yeah, this is my room. What do we got? Damn, homie loves his records and his jukebox and his books. No bed? Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't sleep. Ever? No, not at all. Not like upside down in the closet, hanging by your toes. I never thought about what vampires slept. <laughs> Please kiss. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> it's romantic tension. They got to dance before they can kiss. I can't dance. <laughs> Let's go with it. Well, I could always make you. What? What's that? I'm not scared of you. You're going to pull two Yosemite Sam guns out and shoot at her feet. Well, you really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, wow! Tight spider monkey. That's another uh. line. That's another line. Spider <laughs> monkey. Spider monkey. Chip, I'll come at you like a spider monkey. Close your eyes. Oh, yeah. What's that have to do with dancing? This is a kind of tango, I suppose. <laughs> wow. Has this have been a crane or a drone? Did we have drones at the time? I don't think so. When is this? 2000? Mid 2000s, yeah. <laughs> this isn't real. This kind huh? of stuff just doesn't exist. Trees? That's in my world. Called the natural world. Oh my god. I do enjoy these like floating. But why won't they kiss? Romantic tension. I'm telling oh. you, you gotta draw it out, man. Look at that. That's a cool shot. Yeah. There's some real beauty when they're just going for visual and tone and, and just watching them together body language wise. 
Yeah, I guess if you have all the time in the world, learn to play piano. It's diegetic sound now. What a shot. Why isn't he sparkling? I feel like the light's coming in enough. She's just obscuring him. Whoa. Oh, she took his t-shirt. <laughs> took the Kiss Me on Irish t-shirt. Bigfoot was here. It's human. No, that's a dog, dude. I ordered you the Spanish salad. I hope that's okay. You should order one for yourself next time. Cut back on the steak. Hey, damn, that is a horse. That's a very raw salad. It's okay. You want to go join him? I'm just going to turn in early anyway. Me too. Bella, it's Friday night. Go out. Looks like the Newton boys got a big smile for you. Yeah, he's Aww. a good buddy. <laughs> oh, that's what you want to hear. What about any of these other yahoos in town? Anybody interest you? Yahoos. You haven't told them about Colin? That we can talk about boys? <sighs> yeah, I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, feel like I leave you alone too much. You should be around people. Why don't you guys do something on a Friday night? I guess I'm kind of like my dad in that way. <laughs> Does he not mind being alone? I'm really liking folks. What? Uh-oh. Could a guy have anything to do with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very flustered right now. Is he smart? Whoa! Can, can I talk to you later? Come on, we gotta talk boys! Are you being safe? We gotta have a boundary about this. <laughs> about he when has you no show boundaries. up in my window. <laughs> How did you get in here? The window. Do you do that a lot? Just the past couple of months. Wow. This should be creepy as hell. It should be. <laughs> I like watching you sleep. It's kind of fascinating to me. This is reminding me of you. What? The stalker show. Oh, the show. Oh. It's like, what did I do? <laughs> watching you sleep? <laughs> stay very still. Oh, my God. Stay very still. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, please, please, oh, please. Oh. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't speak. Even whisper. Oh no, can he handle this? Uh, he's gonna explode. Whoa. He said, Don't move. I don't know. That's too much movement, I think. Yeah, don't move. Oh my god, I'm, I've never hard. been this happy in my whole life. Oh. 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 He zooms and stuff. Whoa! What happened? Did you do that or did he do that? I don't know. I can't ever lose control with you. Did he throw himself back? He must have. Hey, don't go. Stay. Don't go. Oh my god, emo teenage boy. Yeah. He's actually 100. I'm nothing but trouble. But he doesn't sleep. Yeah. This is surprisingly like the actual nuts and bolts of the romance are, are surprisingly like chaste and kind of wholesome aside from the creepy Stalkers. aspects. <laughs> you remove the stalker part <laughs> and the weird age differential. I have a date with Edward Cullen. He's a little old for you, isn't he? <laughs> I thought you liked the Cullens. I thought you didn't like any of the boys in town. Edward doesn't live in town. I'm having a gun in this conversation. <laughs> that is a, is a line I would use. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He doesn't technically live in town. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to meet you, officially. And read your mind. <laughs> and and right. your gun. Tell him to think <laughs> good thoughts. <Yeah. laughs> Dude. <laughs> I mean, could you be nice? He's important. Let him have this. Let dad have that one moment of... Hi, Edward. Bella won't be out too late tonight. She's just going to play baseball with my family. Baseball? Yes, sir. That's the plan. <laughs> I'll take good care of her, I promise. Oh, boy. Still got that pepper spray. <coughs> what happens if you use pepper spray on a vampire? Makes them more powerful. And since when do vampires like baseball? It's the American pastime. There's a thunderstorm coming. It's the only time we can play. People wear this as a costume all the time. It's like an old Charlie Brown baseball hat. You'll see why. Because it looks that much more badass playing baseball in a thunderstorm, I'm sure. Glad you're here. We need an umpire. She thinks we cheat. Well, I know you cheat. <gasps> Calm as you see him, Bella. C for Cullen. C? Oh! Isn't that what I sang oh! before, or was it not? Same band, different song, but yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Supermassive black hole! I feel yeah. bad that I made fun of Alice. She might be, or not made fun of her. I thought Ooh! she was evil. Maybe she's not evil. That, that leg! Why you need the thunder. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. No, what's so far? Oh, baby, I'm a fool for you. They've cut this up a little bit. Oh. Damn. What is her name? Is it Esme or Rosalie? I caught those names at some point. These shots, man. This is so cool. I love this scene. This what is a the, funny scene. This is, 
This is the exact right cross point between silly that guy, and kind of cool. The other guy kind of looks like Taylor Lautner. It's weird. There you go, awkward guy. Jasper, whatever they called you. Wow. Yeah, that guy. If if Edward Cullen and Taylor Lautner had a baby, it'd look like that guy. Sure. My monkey man. Don't let Dev Patel hear you say that. They must have really thrown down for like the big wind effects too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Nice place to cut out of the song though. I'm nervous about this because they are gonna see Bella. Yeah. And they don't care probably. They got no code. Let's go. It's too late. Get your hair down. Like that'll help. I can smell it from across the field. Get your hair down. You're helping. Ooh. Why would her hair coming through the smoke? Just be quiet and stand behind me. Oh no. God, this music. They like glide. Are they on like some kind of treadmill? They know about Bella. I am Luron, and this is Victoria and James. Okay. I'm afraid your hunting activities have caused something of a mess for us. Our apologies. Uh, I'm sure. We didn't realize the territory had been claimed. We maintain a permanent residence nearby. Ouch. Oh, them red eyes. We won't be a problem anymore. We were just passing through. The humans were tracking us, but we led them east. You should be safe. Excellent. Could you use three more players? Yes, let's do that. Come on, just one game. Settle it on the diamond. A few of us were leaving. You can take their place. What about first? <laughs> I'm the one with the wicked curveball. Oh, well, I think we can handle that. My man got a line. No, the wind. No. God damn it, no. Smells her. Yeah. You brought a snack. <sighs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone gnashed their teeth. <laughs> The girl is with us. I think it's best if you leave. The poses. The poses, man. I can see the game is over. We'll go now. Yeah, you're outnumbered right now. Get Bella out of here. Go. Damn, baseball season's canceled. Uh-oh. I feel like they're going to cut her out the pass. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. I'm all right. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Jeez, man. What? Now are you coming after me? Oh, my... James is a tracker. The hunt is his obsession. My reaction to field set him off. I've just made this his most exciting game ever. Oh no. We have to kill him. Rip him apart and burn the pieces. Wow. You have to take me home. So you can't go home. He's just gonna trace your scent there. Oh, no. It's the first place he's gonna look. Oh, my dad is there. We doesn't matter. No. Yes, it does. He can get killed because of us. Yeah. Damn it. Don't. Don't. We'll figure out a way to leave tracker away somehow. I don't know. But we have to do something. Yeah, man. Don't leave mustache dad flailing. Whoa! I just gotta get out of here. I'm leaving now. Are they putting on a show? Oh yeah, Edward was in there. Oh, uh, smart. Okay. Well, what am I gonna say to him? I can't hurt him. No, what's going on? I just have to. I'll be down the truck. I see she wants to go to her mom's. Let him down easy. Did he hurt you? No. I hurt him. Thought you liked him. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I have to leave. What? I don't want this. I have to go home. Jesus Christ. I know I'm not that much fun to be around, but I can change that. We can do, we can do more stuff together. Oh, she's gonna break his heart. Oh my God, no, 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 no. She's trying to protect you. Like watch baseball on the flat screen, eat at the diner every night, steak and cobbler. Dad, that's you, that's not me. Oh. No. Bella, come on, I just, I just got your back. Ouch. Yeah, and you know, if I don't get out now, then I'm just gonna be stuck here like mom. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ouch. Oh my dude. God. That was so hard to watch. But I get she had to do it, but I'm just like devastated and just that was hard. He bought you a truck. What is she gonna do to make this right? Yeah, like can he find out? <laughs> like I hope he gets some redemption. Whoa. Is that your hypothesis or did you ask your sister? Yeah, he won't. You should have seen his face. I told him the same thing that my mom told him when she was leaving him. It's the only way he let you go. Just don't worry about him now. He's safe. The tracker's following us. Yeah, about that. God. It's just in it. Uh, Alice you can... car behind us. <laughs> you guys gotta have a better warning. Okay, so Alice is a good girl, and I was wrong. Hey, never know. Aww. Leaving your old life behind, or your new old life. She's like, why did I make this choice? For love. Yeah. He came to warn us about James. This isn't my fight, but he's got unparalleled senses, absolutely lethal. I've never seen anything like him in my 300 years. Really? 
And the woman, Victoria, don't underestimate her. Why should we believe you? Oh my god, I can't believe I dressed as the villain for my party. Yeah, what does that say about you? That I owned that coat? Think about that. I'm gonna run Bella south. Can you leave the tracker away from here? No way, but James knows you would never leave Bella. I'm I'll go with Bella. Jasper and I will drive her south. Oh. Can you keep your thoughts to yourself? Yes. Yeesh. Her hair is cool. Really is. Esme, could you put these on so the tracker will pick up from a set? Yeesh. Why? What is she to me? Well, is with Edward. She's part of this family now. Damn. Rosalie's mad annoying, bro. Yeah. I guess I get it in the sense that she is just like, just join this family. <laughs> like now, but also she has been stick in the mud this whole time. And... She's realistic. She's just annoying. Because I like Bella. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. <laughs> If anything happens, I swear to God. Nothing's gonna happen. I swear to God, what? Bell, you are my life now. Oh my God. Damn. So intense. She's like, what about college? I'm, I'm gonna grow old. Do I have a future beyond just like vampire baseball from now on? And being on the run? I mean, the truth is they should obviously turn her, right? I mean, if they get serious enough, I feel like that would have to be inevitable. Hey, Mom, it's me again. Um, everything's okay, and I'll explain it. Maybe he went to her mom's. Oh, God, that would suck. Went all the way to Florida. <laughs> what? Uh, it's good. Just, just sniff it? No, mark the tree with the scent of Bella because she's wearing Bella's sweatshirt. That makes sense. Keep up, John. This is very important for Bella's protection. I think she could have done a more obvious, you know, like, oh, I'm going to rub this coat sleeve on here or something. That's all I'm saying. That's she's all subtle saying. queen. Subtle queen. Hashtag it. Scottsdale, we're already in Arizona, damn. It's not that far. I guess so. No, that's not true. It's super far. <laughs> uh, uh, he knows. Whoa. He triggered it out. The tracker. He just damn. changed course. Keep your thoughts to yourself, we heard. Where will you oh, take good. him, Alice? Mirrors. A room full of Whoa. mirrors. Edward said the visions weren't always certain. Ah, she's used to course people they're on while they're on it. If <laughs> they change their minds, the vision changes. The course that the tracker's on now is going to lead him to a ballet studio? That's a good drawing. The school I went to had an arch just like that. Was your school here in Phoenix? Yeah. My man's is doing okay over here. We've lost the track. The woman's still Ooh. in the area. I'm coming to get you. And you and I are gonna go somewhere alone. We'll go to the Fortress of Solitude. Oh God. Hey mom, I'm glad you got my message. It's him. Where are you? I'll, I'll explain everything later. I, mom, are you there? Forks High School doesn't protect oh. its students' privacy very well. <laughs> I was prepared to wait for you. Then mom came home after she received a very worried call from your dad. Damn, that makes sense. Don't touch her! Don't just- You can still don't. save her. But you're gonna have to get away from your friends. You handle that. <laughs> How about your old ballet studio? And I'll know if you bring anyone along. Poor mommy would pay the price for that mistake. As if she's not going to already. You think he's going to kill her? I don't know if that will actually come to pass. I just don't think that he would have any reason not to. I don't think this movie would do that, but I don't believe him. I'd never given much thought to how I would die. Oh, we're at the beginning. But dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. In the place of. At the beginning thought she meant like in the place. <laughs> at she their place. She means instead, instead of. Yeah. And that it would be her mom. Pepper spray? You're going to pepper spray him? You know, it's a start. <laughs> For sure. Oh, no, is it a recording? Uh Did he kill her? But I do suck blood. She's not even here. <laughs> to make things more entertaining. We need to make a little fun of our time together. I bought this from your house. I hope you don't mind. Did you kill her mom? It'll break Edward's little heart. Edward has nothing to do with it! Guys. Oh. Oh, his rage will make for more interesting sport than his, oh, his feeble attempt to protect you. And let's continue. Most dangerous game over here. Pepper spray. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have allergic reactions. Whoa. Ow. It's too bad he didn't have the strength to turn you. Instead, he kept you this fragile little human. It's cruel, really. Uh, he wanted to preserve your purity. Ow! Tell him to avenge him. Tell him. Oh, what are you doing? Tell him. Uh. There we 
we go. You're alone, because you're faster than the others. Oof. But not stronger. And not better at baseball. I'm strong enough to kill you. Woo! <laughs> right through the mirror. One of the mirrors. Whoa! Whoa! Did you just like freeze him in midair there? Oh, not all the glass. Some stunts in this movie. Is she gonna try to cut him? Oh! Take yeah. the glass. Yeah, cut his head off. Oh, he's gonna try to turn her? Ah! Whoa! Very cool shot. Nice. Some horror movie focus racking. How does it work here, you think? Because she's been bit, do you think if she dies now she'll turn? That's a good question. I don't know. We don't know how the turning rules work exactly. Didn't seem like he got much blood in there. Oh, what? Yeah, but I think once you've been bit, if you die... Yeah, does it work just like a snake bite I or think something so. where it's like a venom infection? Or is it like they got to drain half of you or some shit like that? Remember who you are. I remember... Yeah, but what are they going to do? Keep this guy alive? Bella needs you. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Self-control. Your brothers will take care of him. I got him. Start the fire. Hit the floorboard. Fire. They gotta burn the place down. So that nobody knows? I guess so. Uh, Carlisle's the man. Wow! <laughs> That's wow! Whoa! That was kind of hard. Oh, no, my head is burning. It's the venom. Venom! You have to make a choice. You don't have to change happen. So it is like a venom. It is like an infection. No. It's gonna happen, Edward. I'm it. She's still hemorrhaging house. Make me turn to give your belt. Try to save her. What's my other option? Suck out the poison. We're, we're gonna cut off her leg? I know they're stopping the venom from moving. You can try to suck the venom out. No, I won't be able to stop. Find the wheel to stop. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, let's come see. On, man. Show me that shot. Left. Ah! <laughs> and we should go away. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Damn, they're enjoying this. Edward, stop. Oh, they can't. You're killing her. Edward. He can't. He can't. Edward. Oh, he will. Oh, he will. <laughs> Come on, man. She's going cr literally cross-eyed. <laughs> nice with the focus. She's gone cross-eyed, guys. Yeah. Whoa. Pre-AI morphs. The deer. Edward, you got to chill, bro. Edward. So prove to us. That's snow. Death is peaceful. Easy. Damn, I like the visuals. Is her mom alive sequence. still? We don't even know. Life is harder. Oh, she's in the hospital. Okay, so we stopped. Nice. Good job, Edward. Nice, man. Is it a dad with her or her mom? It's her mom. It's probably both of them. It's the mom's alive. Bella. Hey, mom's Bella. alive. There you go. Mom. Hey, where is Edward? He's asleep. He never Aww. leaves. He's pretending to sleep. What happened? Well, when you fell, you broke your leg and you lost a lot of blood. But does she remember the guy that came to her place? Maybe she never even met him. Maybe he just got the tapes and went from there. It's Phil. Friggin so worried about you. Oh, Phil. I take it back. She's the biggest villain on 24. Oh, honey, you are going to love Jacksonville. And we found the cutest little house and you've got your own bathroom. Mm, I still want to live in Forks. I don't want my own bathroom. Do you mind getting dad? I have to talk to him. I apologize. And I'll go get a nurse, okay? He never sleeps, so what's happening? He's just pretending? Pantomiming over here. Yeah. What happened? Where, where's James? We took care of that. He burnt him. He burnt him. <laughs> and twisted his head around. <laughs> and the woman, Victoria, she ran off. She has many secrets. I'm alive because of you. You're in here because of me. Both can be true at once. I thought I wasn't going to be able to stop. You did stop. Well, you got to go to Jacksonville, so I can't hurt you anymore. Oh. Are you... S no. Whoa. You just can't say stuff like that to me, ever. Whoa. Where else am I going to go? I mean, you're going to have to go somewhere when it becomes apparent you are not aging in, like, 15 years. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Does <laughs> he only drink beer? <laughs> Rain. Rainier. Rainier. But she had the bandaid on her arm, so it feels like they have to know she was bit yeah. by something. Maybe they said it was scars going through the window. Maybe Carlisle was able to... Oh, no, the bandaid's off her arm now. Alice, let me the dress. For prom. Cass is... You're perfect. <laughs> I'll take care of it, Chief Swan. Uh, I've heard that before. She has leggings under the dress. Oh, yeah, he cannot be thrilled. 
I put a new can of pepper spray in your bag. And, um... And a gun. You look beautiful. Thanks. So do you. Bella. Whoa! Jacob, hey! Nice. <laughs> you too. Are you crashing the prom or something? Did you come with a date? No. <laughs> what are we doing here, man? My dad paid me to come talk to you. 20 bucks. <laughs> Let's hear it. Uh, what are you gonna buy with that? Just don't get mad, okay? He's gonna say stay away from... He wants you to break up with your boyfriend. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He said, uh, quote, we'll be watching you. What? Okay, well, tell him thanks. <laughs> okay. And Everyone to pay will be up. watching. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me help you. I'll take from here. Oh. Beef. Guess I'll see you around, Bella. Was it your dad who wanted you to say that, or was it you? I leave you alone for two minutes, and the wolves descend. Knew it. And the wolves descend, huh? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> I would think he wouldn't want photographic evidence everywhere he was. I guess. Yeah, somebody in town is eventually going to see all these pictures throughout history of this one guy. <laughs> Put it all together. Wow, you are really trying to kill me. Prom's important rite of passage. I don't want you missing it. No. Oh, he's invested in her human experience. <laughs> looking great. Oh my god. Shall we? You're serious. Oh, why not? This is an expensive prom. She got her on his feet. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's like bony bear. Twilight soundtracks low key slap from. Doesn't sound like bony What I tell. Really. Yeah. You just let the venom spread. Venom. I could be like you right now. You don't know what you're saying. You don't want this. I want you always. I'm not going to end your life, Heath. I'm dying already. Every second I get closer. Very existential. That's the way it's supposed to be. Alice said that she saw me like you. I heard her. Her visions change. Yeah, based on what people decide. Oh. I've decided. So that's what you dream about, becoming a monster. And sparkling. And baseball. I dream about being with you forever. Oh. And you're ready right now. Oh. Whoa. Yes. No, that's not what's happening. What is going to happen though? He's going to kiss her, right? Oh. This isn't a good place for this. Oh. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm just fanning myself from the heat. <laughs> just to have a long and happy life with me. Edward's into older girls, that's why. I wonder if, like, your frontal cortex grows in if you're a vampire, if, like, he has the brain of a 17-year-old. That's a great question. No one will surrender tonight, but I won't give in. I know what I want. Dang. But Victoria's still out there. Is that her? Yeah, that's her jacket. That's Victoria's oh, coat. Oh, what? You crash in prom? Yeah, because they took her man. Oh, she mad. Oh, she mad. What? A radio head needle drop. <laughs> what? But is this the end? Yeah. Whoa. Catherine Hardwick. I forgot about that. <laughs> Melissa Rosenberg. Okay. And Stephanie Meyer, based on the novel by. That was the first Twilight movie. We'll never be the same again. Absolutely not. This I is like kind of cool. Yeah, I like this montage. I'm not even kidding. Like the the actual like compiled, uh, inspired by the movie soundtracks, where it's just all like you know popular musicians. Like they put some good playlists together from what I've heard of these movies. How are we gonna wait to watch two, three, four, and five past tonight? I, mean, I don't like, know. <laughs> it does make me really want to continue. I got to see who this entire mm -hmm. cast is. Yeah, okay, Billy Burke. He Billy did a Burke. great job. Mustache Dad A plus. Peter Fancinelli. He should play Albert Wesker in... And Elizabeth Reeser. Okay, she is in uh, Cam Gigandet. Is that the guy I'm not doing about? Ashley I just Green. saw him in something recently. Anna Kendrick, that we know. Is this her first big thing? Nikki, Nikki Reed, Reed from 13. You got to be kidding me. That's the girl oh, from 13. Oh, Kellen Lutz. I know that name. And we just saw that was homie. so stupid of me. Jackson Rathbone. Well, and Catherine Hardwick directed 13, right? I haven't actually seen 13, but uh, really? But yeah, it's her. Wow. That's crazy. 
And Nikki Reed ended up dating Ian Summerholder. Ian Summerholder is the vampire of television. Oh, so. is he? Okay. What? He Vampire Diaries. I haven't seen the Vampire Diaries. Well, that's I was your... a true blood boy back in the day for a minute. A Why minute can't you watch blood with Sarah Clark? Because one I perceived as being edgy, and at the time I would have perceived the other one as being like... I don't know, something I wouldn't have been interested in because I had a narrower mindset wow. than I do now. Right? Un- I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I can't believe what we just did. Oh, my God. Another needle drop. We just God. we made history just now. We did. We made our history. We did the thing. Reject Nation, when I heard that this company wanted to partner up with us yet again, I was so enthusiastic about it. Reason being, I had already been using their product for well over a year by the point we first ever collaborated with them. So the fact that we get to have this ongoing partnership just makes me a happy camper. And that is, of course, for the app Rocket Money. Now, if you guys don't know what Rocket Money is, don't worry. I got you covered. I'll tell you about them in just a little bit. But before that, I wanted to share with you guys why I love this app so much. It's actually a very personal reason. You see, like many of you guys, I too grew up in a home where money did not come easily, needless to say. The predominant conversation in my family household was undoubtedly about financial struggle, financial worry, and that does a number on you. So it certainly seeped into my adulthood when I was trying to learn how to become financially independent. And to this day, as someone who talks a lot about working on his mental health, who's proudly going to therapy, no matter how much lack we might have in money one day or how much success we might have in money sometimes. I still have to have this ongoing conversation about my relationship with money. I'm half Filipino, so my mom's always talking to me about taxes to this day. I think, though, it does start with how you manage the finances you currently have. See, before I ever acquired any type of reasonable living money, I heard someone speak about how you have to learn what to do with a dollar now. Essentially, the talk was about don't wait until you have like a bunch of money and then start figuring out what to do with it afterwards. Like you got a bunch of toys to play with. If you want to acquire more in life, you have to first figure out what you're going to do with what you currently have. And that's why I love this app. It's applicable for any financial stage you are at in life. Come to think about it, it would have been very beneficial for me when I was in a real struggle boat years ago. So in summary, as someone who is constantly having an ongoing working relationship with how to handle money, Rocket Money has helped make that relationship a lot healthier in my life. So what are they if you don't know what they are? What they are is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering your bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. I'm telling you, Reject Nation, there's no greater feeling Then when you look at the following month and you see that, oh my God, I have saved money. I've spent less and progress equals happiness. The best part is Rocket Money does a lot of the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to stay within your budget goals. Because it's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. And one of my favorite qualities about their service too is when it comes to monthly subscriptions. We've been blessed to be able to expand the team and hire more people, but with that in mind, that also comes with a lot more expenses. So as this business has been growing, having to track exuberant amount more has been just as important. So now I have to track a lot of these business expenses Then I got to track my own personal finances. So in general, it's already been helping out a lot with that. But as you want to make things more efficient, you often find yourself signing up for a lot of apps for free trials that you quickly forget about. Next thing you know, you're, you're paying a hefty fine for it. I'm sure even if you don't have a YouTube channel, there's some way you can relate with that. You see, because they track your monthly subscriptions and they make it super easy to cancel the ones you do not use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back into your pocket. So if you're like me, you found hidden subscriptions or pay for services that you totally forgot about. Rocket Money was a lifesaver in uncovering those and even negotiated some of my bills to about, like I'd say, like down by 20%. So if you want to join me on this journey of consistently taking care of your finances, do not want to start later. The best time is to start right now. So please do yourself a favor, check out Rocket Money and see how much you too can be saving. That way you can stop wasting money on things you don't use. Believe me, when it came to my accountant in tax season, that was a really big note. Visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your wallet will thank you because Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So a great way to support your lifestyle and a great way to support the channel is by going and downloading the Rocket Money app 
app yourself. And if it does help you, please go ahead, drop me a message. I'd love to hear if there's some way by just conveying this message, it has helped you out too. Thank you, Reject Nation. Because we watched the first Twilight movie. What is the first Twilight movie even called? Two New Moon, Three Eclipse. This one's just called Twilight. Four Breaking Dawn is just Twilight. And then I think they become the Twilight Saga, and then everyone has its book's subtitle or whatever. Okay, so uh, just hit me with your initial thoughts on having just watched one of the biggest <laughs> franchises, <laughs> the first movie. Of it. No <laughs> joke, man. I mean, like, there's Star Wars, there's Lord of the Rings, and there's Twilight. Sure. Let's go. Catherine Grimmie, that, that name sounds familiar too, Young Bella. Uh, yeah, well, my first thought is that uh, I certainly hope that people are compelled to rate this five stars on Apple Good or call. Spotify if you happen to be listening. Um, man... This movie has been built up so much for me over time. Obviously, I don't think you can live in culture, and I don't think you can have any interest in horror at all and not know something about Twilight. And certainly, I remember in high school when this was popping off and everyone was reading the book and yeah. then, like, the big major hype anticipation of the movie coming together. And I uh, didn't know any book readers. I didn't even know it was a book until today. See, I, if knew, I knew I forgot. mostly book readers. And I heard a lot of things about it that way. And then the movie came out. And, and yeah, like, you know, I, I experienced the cultural wave. But being removed from all that, and seeing this as just an actual piece and also, again, like we said earlier, watching this at a time and place where you can see where a lot of these people have gone since and we're out of the mania, the craze. Um, I had a lot of fun watching this, you know, like I, I, I feel like we share to different degrees a love of romance. And I feel like this movie, this story uh, was dogged heavily because anything a that's aimed at you know like a teen tween girl demographic mm -hmm. is gonna get shit on because that's how culture works and uh you know uh, this was probably a time where i would have been like searching like i said for edgier vampire content and being a little you know more gatekeepery about like well, this is what real vampire rules are but all that shit aside um i enjoyed this a lot there are moments where it is um a bit hammy in the way that like high school journal poetry Wait, are can you hearing be. This? That Paramore again, the needle drops. The soundtracks on these things are crazy, and decode is a bop. Like <laughs> that's the thing. And I feel like watching these at this point in my life is going to be fun because I I have a feeling that I am in a much better position to actually appreciate the things that do work. And I'm not going to try and you know uh, 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 look past the things that could be better. But but watching this again. I thought that the emotionality for where the story is coming from and, and who it's about and who it's aimed toward and, you know, the, the real tension of the romance, I had a blast watching and getting pulled into. You know, the, the as much as there is some stuff at the top that's a little bit like, what's going on with this dude when he's looking like he's about to poop his, his pants when she comes into class and, and, like, some of that stuff is a little over the top but when they really get down to brass tacks and the emotionality between the two performers, especially uh, between, you know, Pattinson and uh, and K. Stu, mm -hmm. like, you know, I really enjoyed watching them and I really enjoyed the tension of the danger of the romance and all that stuff. You know, there's an aspect of it to me that is very like, ah, you know, it is very, again, high school saturated in terms of its, you know, the way it presents its emotionality but i think that's okay i think that makes sense for what this is and i feel like Catherine hardwick again not being super familiar with her body of work but knowing that like 13 is a movie that is said to have a fair amount of lived in quality for its age demographic that it's portraying but is also you know uh appropriately kind of real and edgy seeing somebody with that pedigree come and tackle something like this is fun and interesting to me because certainly this is a fantasy in Didn't ways. Didn't Kevin Hardwick do a crazy amount of very serious movies after this? Probably. Like Detroit or something? What was that one called? Like, Did I'm, she? Maybe. I, I think she's like I mean, I've definitely seen some of her very, very serious work. I'll tell you what she did. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I and I appreciated again what she brought to this in the moments in time. You know, yeah, there was a Lincoln Park in there too. Uh, <laughs> the moments where you know you are getting a little bit more intense, like toward the end, the fight in the in the ballet studio, and and like those montage pieces they had going when Edward was sucking out the venom and like you know the the crazy racks in focus and the the mm -hmm. fire like there were moments where this dipped more into 
overt horror in a way that, you know, as a horror fan, I enjoyed, but as a romance fan too, and as somebody, again, in a better position to appreciate like a macabre, but, you know, mostly romance forward sort of story like this. Uh, yeah, like, you know, the, the rules, I'm curious to watch the rules and the lore expand because we've only had hints of what other things could be lurking in this universe. And obviously, I mean, again, I feel like most people get the idea that there's a vampire component and a, and a wolf component involved in Twilight. But I like that this one is mostly about establishing the vampire stuff. And even though, you know, the, the rules and the lore differ heavily from what you associate with, or at least in some ways with what you associate with a vampire story, I thought like all that, yeah, that sensuality that is kind of intrinsic to vampire stuff was here. And I enjoyed, uh, you know, the kind of getting... The, the, the qualities where it's like, oh, she's going to a new school, she's meeting new people, she's slowly developing a group of friends, she's got this tension with her dad. Like, this was, it, it just had more elements in it that I, like, appreciated for real uh, than I expected, you know? Um, Catherine Bigelow is who I was thinking of. Catherine so Bigelow just, is def uh, definitely be directing heavy second. caliber shit. I was like, I'm pretty sure she went to amazing job, Roxy. Really great work. Catherine Harder <laughs> did do 13. You are right. Yes. I was like, I didn't think it's that, the only that credit was. I'm fully um, aware of. Lords of Dogtown she did. Sure. Miss Bala. Cool. Uh, Mafia Mama, which I saw came out last year but didn't see. Okay. Uh, Tell It Like a Woman, which was a movie in 2022 with Cara Delevingne. Uh, and Eva Longoria and Marsha Gay Harden. Okay. I feel like I should have seen that one. Maybe that will be on our binge list. Catch up, Roxanne. Um, you know, I have to tell you, a lot of what you were saying kind of resonated with me, except for the fact that I didn't find this movie to be, like, I kind of found this movie to be super grounded, which I know sounds okay. so weird, but like, okay. based on the- In ways. The way that everybody talked about it, like it was going to be so over the top and so campy and just so yeah. like too much. To me, it didn't feel that much. It felt like at the base of this, I'm a lover of love, shipper of ships, as mm. we all know. This is a love story. Now, it's very difficult. They're asking you to, for a lot. They're asking you to be okay with the fact that these are people of different ages, sure. of different times. They're asking you to be okay with the fact that this guy is stalking her and and putting... <laughs> and breaking into her house to watch her sleep. Breaking into her house to watch her sleep. They're asking you to put aside <laughs> the fact that he's putting her at severe risk and in danger. Yes. But I am willing to put all that aside. For the fantasy. For the fan for, because the if this thing was my homie, I can't put it aside. But for for a vampire. So once they say put all that aside, that's when it does feel kind of like like it it makes sense to me. I like that these are the v the vegetarian vampires. Like this family is looking out. I like that they're kind of vampire groups. I think it makes sense that they throughout their hundreds of years, they have issues with different people, sure. why they've come back here. I liked the story with her moving from her mom's to her dad's. It just, it, she felt like a teenage girl to me. And and this felt like a teenage slice of life more mm -hmm. authentically in ways than I expect. I think that's something that perhaps we both came in with is the idea that a lot of people, that this movie has its reputation for people clowning on it. It's and hard to not have preconceived notions when you come in when this has been, this came out in 2009, I was a senior in high school. Sure. That's like probably the worst time for this to come out for it not to have preconceived notions. Every sure. single person I know being like, oh my God, it's so much, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And then one thing I wanted to avoid, I think it would be really easy to come into a Twilight reaction geared up for a so bad it's good we're here to make fun of this kind of experience and and that's kind of what i think we both tried to not want to do i didn't want to i didn't want to do that i wanted to meet this halfway and i didn't think it was bad no. i thought it was so good it was good hey. and of course of course if we're talking if we're fleshing it out some of the dialogue was hysterical like what was that one sure. scene where i was like oh my god some of these lines when you are my heroine i was like oh yeah i get why people quote this movie because it is so intense it kept reminding <laughs> me of uh why uh why can't i quit you or whatever oh uh, like, I, I can't quit you yeah just like yeah. Th this felt some of these lines felt like if i was in high school and this came out this is what i would want my boyfriend to say to me like you're my personal heroine like well and that's you and know? that's the thing about the toxic aspects of their relationship is is it is that thin line of like, but if it's the right person and I'm attracted to them, then I kind of would love to be on the receiving end of all this attention. 
<laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? you know, like I can't justify any of this stuff. It's, it's like it's stalker not behavior is never paper. acceptable. However, but if it's just you and you're in control of your little isolated bubble, <laughs> and he's a vampire, bro. Yeah, like he's a vampire, the so the rules different. go out the window. <laughs> I am really curious because we do have two, three, four, and five. Like the whole time, I felt that that um, Taylor Lautner was currently a wolf. However, it was weird if you are a wolf to tell Bella about wolves and vampires. Sure. Like to him, is it still lore? Has he not turned? Is this lore? His family's told him. Am I making up this whole wolf thing and this is just lore? And actually, they're another set of vampires. I like that we're in a position to guess. Yeah, totally. I like they left a little bit of mystery. Obviously, I think they knew a franchise was coming out of this so they can afford that. But I thought that was kind of neat, actually. So what is your vampire history? You mean in terms of like all the vampire things I have seen? What was your first? Do you love vampire stuff? What's your first <laughs> vampire thing? Like getting to this point, did this remind you of other vampire things? Did it draw from for you? Or did you feel like this was totally different than what you've seen? You know, this actually plays into a blind spot for me because I haven't seen like Interview with a Vampire. I haven't seen the more Anne Ricey side of vampire fiction. And you mentioned Vampire Diaries. That's something that I know a lot of people love that I don't have much experience with either. And so, so I this feel is like fresh for you. This approach is fresh for me. Yeah. I mean, every vampire thing, I think, has some level of eroticism and there's often some level of romance involved. But this is the first time I've watched a vampire thing that I can think of that is like predicated more on the the sensual and the romantic than the horror. It's cool that it plays by its own rules, you know, with the sparkles and they show us what they're playing with. And I also am very fascinated by the fact that he can read minds, but his the other person, his family can see the future. So each vampire kind of gets a different enhanced heightened skill set. Yeah. So I'm curious about that. I'm also curious why he can't read Bella's mind. I think there's more to that than they have let us know. It makes me think about her past, how she got here. Um yeah, just really, really curious for the next movies. I came to Vampires with a soap opera called Port Charles. Oh. And the theme song was Tainted Love. Hey. And it was my first bow, bow. window into extreme vampires. Thought it was so sexy. Really, really hot. Okay. Been a huge vampire girly, especially in this type of genre. So like Vampire Diaries, the originals, any kind of lover of love, ship, or ship vampires. Mm. My blind spot is is horror vampires. So okay. this is like speaking my language. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's funny. Our journey has been in the reverse because we started with Blade, which is mostly like action and shit. Then you go into Underworld, which is like, to me now, a great midpoint. Kind of. Because it's like, it's a little bit soap opera, but it's still got all your cool, you know, neo-noir matrix vampire werewolf stuff. And now we're going full into the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And happy to be here. I am too. Ready I am to too. Like, I, I love a thing like this, actually. I love a thing that is presented to me as something where it's like, again, yeah, like this has a reputation and a lot of people feel a type of way about it. But you know what? I want to throw all that aside and just see how this strikes me on on first glimpse. And I thought this had a lot of atmosphere, too. Yeah, it definitely you know? did. It definitely, the, it, I mean, some really cool shots and like just the forest, the Seattle, the, not Seattle, the Forks, Washington of it all. That was definitely a character in this. Yeah. The, the fogginess. And the tension, just the buildup. It's like we were sitting there the whole time like, kiss, kiss like get kiss. the kiss. And that prolonged shot of the two of them with the really slow and the kiss finally. He said, finally. don't move. And I said, bitch, do not move. Yeah. Yeah. And like that was a moment where I was like, you know what? The things this movie needs to get right, I feel like, are actually working and cooking more than, again, the, the movie gets credit for. I remember right after this when... Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson started getting cast in things. And people were like, those actors, really? Yeah. So I kind of thought they were going to be way, way intense, over the top, very, very, like, campy. I really thought both of them did a great job here. Like, you know, I watching this, I think it's a hard, you got, they had some hard dialogue to, to really bring home. Mm. And I thought they both did kind of like an understated, other than when, um, other than when he really had to, like, you know, jump around the trees and be like, I I just have wanted you for so long. And he's so intense. But even that part yeah. reminded me of a 17-year-old boy. Well, that's the thing is, yeah, there are parts that are, uh, I guess I would describe as, as hammy or a bit overdramatic. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, as like you said, they, they fit 
the the setting and and who the story is being told about and through you know so like in that in that way i almost don't begrudge it so much those elements or like bella certainly some of the things she says are uh not quippy but but like there are certain in the narrations she has and and certain of her choices are a bit dramatic and a bit flourishy in terms of how she expresses which is absolutely of a high school character you know that's, yes. that's how i would have been talking and writing probably at the time <laughs> the love triangle element didn't really come into this one if we know anything about twilight we know that it's like you said at the top team edward or team jacob there was no team jacob in this so i'm curious how that kind no. of develops yeah. you know we can tell that jacob has a crush on her but it doesn't go much further than that everyone be crushing on bella you know, I before this movie, I didn't get it because I was just like, I remember growing up thinking she kind of looked like an like a normal high school girl. But in this, there's kind of something about her, man. There's a beautiful, I think, kind of middle ground in the fact that like she does seem kind of like a normal high school girl, but she's also like awkward and like she's not like a goth kid, but she's like bordering on that vibe enough that I think a special kind of cast of young people probably see themselves and, and relate to that. And it is because it is mm -hmm. macabre and it is, you know, rooted in horror, which is, you know, sort of the left of center genre. Anyhow, I feel like it does become this sort of, you know, uh, uh, flag almost for, yeah, that, that set of kids, the sort of awkward goth adjacent feeling kids who are still, you know, like I, I like that they didn't make the high school like a cartoon here where like you didn't have like a bunch of bullies or some like, you know, mostly just the kids seemed like kids. And you had that one altercation with like the creepy dudes in town or whatever. But there oh wasn't my God, a whole bunch yeah, that of was brutal. Yeah. And that and that scene where they're showing from her POV is as it's just cutting around to all these faces and voices just yelling at you. And, and like, I really thought that in moments like that, they. Catherine Hardwick managed to play up the tension and really mm -hmm. there was a nice ebb and flow of that kind of stuff but yeah like I feel like there's a you're not watching the traditional like they are beautiful and they are you know clearly chosen from you know the this is a movie Hollywood. with all the Hollywood yeah. resources but they're not the most traditional pairing in terms of yeah like dashing male lead mm -hmm. and you know completely uh poised on genoux or something like that and i think the awkward energy helps and i think it also helps the moments where there were a lot of moments where i was appreciating the acting there were times where the choice wasn't always failing to conjure humor for me <laughs> so like you know toward the end when she's i liked the the intent of the moment but in that hospital bed scene where she's like but uh, no I I, you. D d d you know like that was like okay like it's, it's a little but i much. feel like that was a half direction half performance half yeah, dialogue I can, I can right totally where it's kind of like yeah somebody said to her like stumble over getting him saying your words and it's a good choice it's her first major thing yeah yeah I'm with you though and i can cut the slack on that but that's a moment that at least in the moment like does make me chuckle a bit more yeah, than some you. other moment might uh... for sure the line that i opened with bella where the hell have you been loca that wasn't even in the movie i know what the heck where the hell is the line loca loca that's the, like on the bumper stickers and stuff. Uh, please don't forget to like this video, comment, let us know that you want us to do Twilight 2. New moon? New moon, man. New moon. Got to get to the new moon, you got me the standing eclipse, and then we got to break dawn Is that, twice. Is that it? You knew that? I think so. Uh -huh. Oh, I've seen enough copies of the books. All right. Well, the, the Twilight one has the apple, and then fun the final words from moon. you, man. Uh, props to the supporting cast. Mustache. Anna Kendrick. What? Anna Kendrick. Mustache Dad was a G. I like Mustache Dad. Uh, you know, more vampire baseball. I hope we get next time. That was cool. Her pitch when she would wind up that pitch and do right. like like ballet leg. I was just like, Mwah. Really Coolest. good. Really good. Uh, all right. Thank you for watching this. Life will never be the same again. Nope. Later, rejects.